Brian here from quantlabs.net. What I want to show you is uh, one of the reasons why I use uh, MATLAB to learn um, all the more advanced uh, mathy stuff in in um, quant, or which leads obviously into high frequency trading. What you're looking at right now is the uh, MATLAB uh, help for um, a function called V ratio test right here. Um, so this little description gives you a complete um, detailed uh, description on how this function works. Not only that, but it's very helpful to understand all the different options of what IID is, alpha, period, for their uh, pay, uh, pair arguments. So um, with this type of do detailed documentation, I can get quickly up and running and understanding these different uh, parameters for this particular function. Um, I've done enough research that uh, I was just trying to look up a model for um, these guys right here, uh, Lowe and McKinley, um, for random walks and stationary uh, analysis on particular uh, assets. And what I'm finding is I'm always coming across uh, the MATLAB um, or MathWorks site, which leads me back to MATLAB. So it's like, again, this is one of the, the easiest ways I find to really learn about quant, the mathy stuff, especially when you're uh, coming from my point of view on the uh, mathy, and not only that, but with also the terminology uh, used in um, your, your calculus or whatever math you are uh, um, trying to learn, if it's uh, uh, whatever it is, uh, calculus, algebra, stats, probability, whatnot, you know, you have definitions on p-value, um, things like that, and uh, it's very helpful. Um, and uh, basically, um, this is, as I said, the best way to learn. So if I t if I go into uh, MATLAB um, and take a look at the source code for something I'm doing with this VAR, uh, sorry, VA ratio test, what I'm trying to do is I'm just trying to do a simple little lookup of uh, to gather um, the um, open history, low, close, all that stuff uh, for a particular symbol for uh, Yahoo. So this will go out to Yahoo and uh, retrieve the um, info that I need. Obviously, the historical high, historical low, open, and um, what I'm going to be using is the historical close and then stuff it into um, the uh, Y, which is detailed here. So I'm just trying to show you just how I'm quickly learning. I did this in like literally in 10 or 15 minutes. So I have the Y, which is my time series. Um, so basically, um, I've uh, used this uh, example that they've given at the bottom here uh, to develop this plot, um, all this code right here, um, I'm just getting the source of this data um, from that uh, uh, Yahoo um, Finance uh, lookup that I just showed you, um, and essentially everything's identical. So um, as you can see, I'm using I'm using y equals the historical close logarithmic, logarithmic, and then all the other code is the same. And then here's the Y um, that I'm using, which is, again, the historical close. And uh, it works. Um, and it, it's a very fast way to, um, to test and run and actually learn about quant um, instead of trying to hand build in C++, which I'm still not done. I've already spent a full day on that. I have nowhere to validate it um, in any groups that I know of. Uh, I tried looking at R. The level of documentation is nowhere uh, complete. Um, so let me just show you when I run this, uh, what it does, because I'm sure you're very curious. Um, I'm doing a VA ratio on Apple, the stock. Uh, off it goes, does a plot, and it brings back all these um, values, especially what I'm more interested in is the p-value. Um, and it, it's, it's quite good. The um, thing is, if, is, if you need to reverse engineer your uh, function, uh, this is where it gets really cool, um, is uh, you can 
actually see the source code that makes up this function. So in my case, I'm wanting to edit the uh, V ratio test. Uh, v ratio test, so I can see the M file, script file for it, and there you go. And again, it's well, well documented. This this set of documentation is the exact same that you saw in the MathWorks website, but when you start looking at the source code, um, you're also seeing um, further documentation or comments from the vendor of MathWorks who obviously makes Math MATLAB. Um, this is the sort of thing um, you typically won't find in other uh, tools or languages like R or uh, like I said trying to hand build in uh, C++ uh, you save a hell of a lot of time when you uh, use this methodology to go through these comments and believe me uh, I pick it up a lot faster um, doing it this way than trying to understand where there's uh, little comments put in to right into the detailed code um, and I'm finding that uh, when I try to download something even from the MATLAB Central where it's developed uh, by somebody else that's equivalent of this, the, the, these, these, these comments are typically not there where th that's what I'm missing and that's why I'm not picking it up as fast. So what I'm finding in, in essence is that what you need to do is if you really want to pick up Quant and understand the typical uh, or reverse engineer these type of models, is to only use uh, these functions found in MATLAB but again uh, you do need the various uh, uh, toolboxes so in this case it's the economic economic metrics uh, toolbox as well as um, there's a whole load of other toolboxes uh, from MATLAB so if you can get those toolboxes it's a fantastic way to really pick up um, the code as well as when you look at a research paper that you can then just go back to uh, to MATLAB and, and figure out how to reverse engineer that and code it up. Um, the difficulty also um, I'm finding is if I want to port this uh, code over uh, in here to something like C++ through uh, what I've shown you through something like the MATLAB um, coder uh, it's not supported and that's where uh, you start hitting the wall um, but one area I'm going to look at to extend this into a C++ or a C sharp for my HFT platform is to go through the the um, the, the MEX file which is the, the J builder um, let me just show you that uh, here um, the toolboxes uh, yeah the MATLAB builder N E. Um, obviously, you have the Java as well as whatever this one is. I can't remember, but this is the .NET, and this is for Java. So this is another way you can um, uh, uh, port and extend out the source code. Um, and from what I saw, uh, it does support um, all the different various mainstream toolboxes from MathWorks or for MATLAB, including the economic metrics so that is an option I'm kind of playing with but I'm more concerned about uh, the performance of, of going through a MEX file for this uh, DLL that gets generated but I'll, I'll show another video on that and uh, maybe test the benchmarking but for learning this is a fantastic way to learn it um, as opposed to trying to ha reverse engineer it via uh, hand coding in C++ or uh, trying to somehow learn it through an undocumented uh, R package. Hopefully I'll help you out.